Hi everyone, this is Oscar here, and today I'm going to be telling you the top 10 hardest excited truck tracks. Oh yeah, this is my opinion, alright? My opinion, not a universal opinion, alright? So please keep it civil in the comment section, please, alright? Thank you. I am ranking all the tracks based on their super excitement mode difficulty and no challenges by the way. Anyway, let's get into it. Number 10, Beach Run, Fiji. This is definitely, without a doubt, the hardest feed track in the entire game. But, this track actually isn't that hard. Thing is with this, right, Excite Truck only has 20 tracks, so this is the top 10 list, meaning that a lot of the tracks are actually just medium difficulty. What's quite interesting about this track is despite Fiji in real life being a very small country, this is actually the second longest track in the entire game. The hard part about this track is simply just due to how many stars you need to collect, 195. It's quite hard to say that a track is easy when you've got to collect that much stars. Now, the stars aren't particularly hard to get really, it's more of just how many you have to get. But seriously though, why actually is this track so damn long? Like, it's literally 2 minutes per lap, that is like, so goddamn long that is. I don't even know why, it's not even necessary, like, Canada's a massive country so you can see why Winding Road is so long, but this? I don't know really, are you going across one part of Fiji to another? I don't know. One thing I can say about this track is that it's definitely very hard for silver track standards. Number 9, Barons Run, Scotland. SCOTLAND FOREVER! I'm sorry guys, I had to. But seriously, if you are listening with headphones and you have your volume turned up, then take it out, it's bad for your ears, scientifically proven. Anyway, Barons Run. I don't know about you guys, but this feels very much like Castle Keep. Like, it's almost uncanny, I mean. I mean, I know it's kind of the case of a lot of these tracks, but... However though, one thing I can say about this track is that it is definitely difficult. What makes this track kind of hard, I think, is the fact that there isn't really that much here. I mean, you're doing a lot of turbo jumps throughout, but there isn't really any ways if you get in, like, 5 stars, really, unless you get Super Drift or Super Truck Smashes, but that could be attained on pretty much any level. The only bit where you might be able to get a Super Air is probably a bit towards the end of the power block, but that's really about it. Now, most tracks like it, I would consider it to be some of the hardest, but because you can pretty much do turbo jumps constantly, that does make things a little bit easier. You know what's interesting though, I used to think Baron's Run was the hardest track in the game back when I was playing Excite Mode, mainly because the trucks are all pretty much incapable of doing so. But, if you use a Wasp, then you are definitely going to have a much easier time beating this track. Number 8, Castle Key, Scotland. I would say this is one of the best tracks in the game, I really like the castle is pretty much there the entire time, only for you to go through it at the end of each lap. Also there is a lot more here than Baron's Run. So how come it's harder than Baron's Run then? Well there's only one reason why it's harder and that is that there is literally no water at all. Like, I'm not even exaggerating, there is not any water on this track at all, which makes overheating a lot easier. Even if you can do tree runs on this track, I still personally think it's slightly harder than Baron's Run. Number 7, Northern Ridge, China. This track being hard can simply pinpoint on one fact. The thing is, you can only get one super tree run at all, and that's your only chance of getting 5 stars pretty much at all. Sure, some of the other tracks I mentioned have this as well, but they're a lot easier though in other ways. This track, however, though, just isn't as easy. There isn't as many turbo jumps to do, which means that you're not as likely to get as many stars. But at least that tree run can actually give you an obscene amount of stars if you manage to pull it off. The only issue though is that you're more likely to come first in the glass bridge and squid game than you are to do so. Number 6, Tanker Hop, Finland. Simply what makes this so damn hard is that, much like Northern Ridge, there is only one part of the entire track that allows you to get a proper super tree run. And the rest of the track is basically just flat ice, apart from this really cool where you jump over the Titanic. What actually doesn't help is this track being too short, like it doesn't give you anywhere near enough time to collect 135 stars. Not helping as well is that there is hardly any turbo jumps you can do in this track at all, except for one massive one you do at the end, but that doesn't really compensate for the lack of them throughout. Number 5, Winding Road, Canada. Uh, why is this track so fucking long? 
In all seriousness, this track actually isn't that hard. I mean, it'd probably be ranked number 10 or 9 if I was to rank this solely based on the track's difficulty and just completely ignore the time. But the fact that you have to collect 300 stars in this makes a huge difference. Literally, 300 stars is hard to get even in a time of 7.5 minutes. Seriously, 300 stars, like actually, what? why do you have to have that many stars? That's actually overkill. Like seriously, I'm not even exaggerating, this track actually kind of sucks on being too long. Like each lap is 3 fucking minutes. Come on, it doesn't need to be that long. This is like the Lord of the Rings Return of the King of tracks. Number 4, Devil's Ladder, Mexico. This track is actually quite hard for different reasons as the other we've talked about. Don't get me wrong, yeah, it has some pretty difficult tree runs, but at least it has quite a lot of them, however, though. What I actually find quite hard about this track is actually the amount of cacti and trees scattered around all over the place. You just bump into them non-stop. Another bit of a hard time getting over is this bit right here where you're trying to jump over a canyon or through the canyon. It's pretty much impossible to do this whilst doing a turbo jump. If you guys have been able to do it, let me know in the comments. Another strange thing that for some reason always bothers me, I don't know why, is this invisible barrier that for some reason gets in your way. Like, I don't know why they put it there. Why can't they just let you take a cool shortcut? I don't know, and it always puts me off. I keep forgetting it's there and keep thinking you can go through there. Anyway, though, I actually think this is one of the best tracks in the game and the best Mexico track, in my opinion. But it's still a bloody hard one as well, though. Number 3, Iceberg Run, Finland. Yep, this is the hardest Finland track. You probably expect Ski Jump Loop to be on here. However, though, I actually don't think that one's too hard due to a lack of stars. There is, like, nothing here apart from icebergs. Oh, definitely deserves to be called Iceberg Run, alright? I'm not even kidding. There is hardly any way of getting a lot of stars. Literally, all you gotta do is just hope you can stay in air for as long as possible. But you won't even stay in the air for that long because the jumps aren't that frequent and they don't even go that high. There's only one part where you can get super tree runs, but even then you can't even get that many. I think the biggest issue with this track is its duration. This track is so goddamn short, it's only about 3 minutes long, in fact no, it's probably even shorter than that usually. It just doesn't give you enough time to get 140 stars. The only way you have a slight chance is if you come first, but it is so damn hard to come first as well as get 90 stars. Number 2, Crystal Road, Nebula. In all honesty, I actually nearly put this at number 1. Like, it is so close to being as hard as number 1 on the list. In fact, I'm sure many of you expect it to be number 1, but I had to think about it and it's not quite as hard as a number 1, which I'll get to later. Anyway though, this is my favourite track in the game in my opinion. It is so beautiful, look at it. The one aspect that makes this track so hard is that there is crystals scattered about absolutely everywhere. And it says that they're trees, but piss off, they're not trees. Come on, you're a delusional wanker if you actually think that they're trees. There is just so much crystals everywhere, and you were into them all the time. Seriously, if these so-called trees actually was this many in the real world, we wouldn't need to worry about climate changes at all. There's also a lot of times where we'll just go splat straight into the purple water. Also, there's meteorites that will crush you. But at least you get plenty of opportunity to get super tree runs, which is ultimately probably why this is not number one. Number one, River Run, Canada. Yep, this is the hardest in the game in my opinion. Why? Because there's nothing here! I'm baffled that this is not a desert track. Seriously, there is nothing here. You only get one chance to get a super tree run. One chance at all and that's near the end. And despite there being three laps, you can actually only do this twice. Were the people who designed this track sadists? Seriously, I swear to god they did that on purpose. You know what though? This track actually isn't even a good track, in my opinion. There's just nothing there. There's like hardly any challenge involved and 200 stars! Sorry, 205 stars? Oh my god, that should add salt to the open wound, that does. Ugh. Anyway though, I do like the look of this track, I like the rain, I like the tornado, and I like how deep you go into the water, but this is still the worst track in the game. And of course, it's also the hardest Excite Truck track. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video on top 10 hardest Excite Truck tracks. Let me know what you think are top 10 hardest in the comments, because there isn't really that much videos on this game, so I'm very interested to hear what you guys think. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and bye.